Hey folks, BFG Neil here, and today I'm going to be talking about the McGill Window Insulation Kit for antennas. So this kit allows you to mount um, on your windows, basically. So if, if you can't drill into the building, you, maybe you don't own the building or rent the building, you could basically put this suction mount onto the window and you lock it in place. Once you've locked it in place, it's, it's fairly stable. Um, just a word of note here about this kit. It is recommended that you tie rope to the kit. Now, this just means that if it falls down, then you have some protection that it's not going to hit anyone below. Now, on the suction mount, it's quite easy to use. All you need to do is click these clips in place. But just remember, before you attach this to any surface, make sure you give the surface a good wipe down. Same thing with the back of the suction pad. Make sure you just wipe them down before you attach it. Any dirt or grime is going to loosen the... Uh, grip that this thing has so very important you do that and remember once it's attached you also need to make sure you have some sort of grounding for this so you know a rope to make sure that if it does fall down it doesn't hit anyone below up next we've got the pole that mounts to the window mount so the, uh, this is attached with u-bolts and plates and it just means that you take the antenna away from the the wall a bit and um, actually mount it slightly higher so this is nice um, nice and easy to fit just u-bolts around the back um, and bolts are attached to it and up next we have the antenna. Now I went with the 3 dbi McGill kit. Uh, it comes with plates again and a nice easy mount. Uh, one thing to note here is just make sure that you install this on the metal. So make sure the clip is only touching the metal um, and then just screw it in basically like this. And up next we have the lightning arrestor kit. Now just a note here that you don't actually put this on the antenna side. Now what I decided to do with it um, based on the kit that was sent to me was actually put it outside on the um, window pass through cable. So this doesn't sit at the end of the antenna directly under it. It should sit closer to the hotspot. But because we're using this outside and the window pass through cable goes through the window, I actually want to use it at that point to ground it to the floor. So all you need to do here is just attach the cables to it and attach the antenna cable. And as I just alluded to, this kit comes with a window pass through cable. Now this cable is a flat cable that just allows you to close windows on cables and still get the antenna outside. Now this just means that there is some loss to this, but it's just a great way of doing it without having to drill any holes. And finally, we have two pieces of LMR 400 cable. Now this kit obviously comes through a window pass through cable, so you need two pieces to connect to either end of that. This is the side that attaches to the antenna with the end type and RPSMA. And then the second half is just RPSMA male to female. So this attaches to the back of the hotspot. And that's it. That's the full installation kit. So here it is demoed on a whiteboard. Um, let's see how it goes before I install it outside. Everything's very loosely connected, so don't worry about the angle here. It's not going live like that. Um, very easy to use, very quick to set up, and just seems like a great option if you can't install it um, outside with a permanent fixtures. Um, just remember again, one more time, make sure you anchor this thing. If this thing falls down and hits someone on the head, it's not a good thing. Um, and yeah, just remember the second point about this is it does come with a, with an outdoor grounding kit. Some people don't like to use them. So this is totally up to you if you use them or not. Um, make sure you have a clear understanding of why they're used. Um, it's not to take lightning hits directly, but to actually take the static from the air and help you get a better signal. So I personally don't choose to use them, but that's because I live in England and I don't believe there's much use for them. And that's it for the window mount kit. Hope you enjoyed this content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to see me do other product reviews or give you an in-depth look of how to set things up on a certain product, let me know. Bye for now.